poor David Hatter. David Hatter is an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? No. It's about Kindred. The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A Kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kain is? Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed, and his less-than-silent partner must be... executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. No! I don't think Hatter knows his collaborator is kindred. You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you've found out who, kill the traitor. But do not touch David. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. After this is over, I promise you'll have my complete attention. Night eating you? A good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you, you in the business? Because, man, I got tons of ideas for movies. In fact, I should give you one of my completed screenplays. This one's still a work in progress. Of course! I, I hope you find it a stimulating read. I really can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. Okay, okay, he's a guy, he calls himself Julius, he lives under the pier. In fact, I'm supposed to meet him tonight. We talk about vampire film ideas all the time. He's a weird, weird guy, but really creative, you know? I, I love how his mind works. Jesus. 
Yeah. It's a nice night out, huh? What what do you, do you want? No 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 no. Please, I I I don't I don't don't no I don't I didn't I didn't mean me I didn't mean to I I don't I don't understand what what I am I I I didn't I didn't know. Sorry, please, please, I, I'll never do it again. <laughs> no, 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 oh God. Find your heart! Please, find your heart! You, 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 you could let me go? I, I, I promise. I, I, I would leave Los a Angeles. I swear. I don't have m much. I, I, just some some money, a uh, hundred bucks or so. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you, thank you, oh, thank you. Need a ride?
Look who's back. Couldn't stay away, could you? Mm-hmm. Oh, I suppose I should just tear it up. But I just... I can't. I can't rip up the product of that man's soul. Here. Would you? Tear it up for me. Thanks. Are they? I mean, did you? It must have been difficult. But take some comfort in knowing if you hadn't, someone else would have had to. I do appreciate your help. A lot. Can't you tell? I simply adore you. You're so sweet to me. The way you protect me. What would I have done had you never come in here? Oh, why can't they all be like you? The world could be so, so beautiful. Here, take this. A reminder of the beautiful girl whose heart you stole. Mmm, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs>